Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Gustavo in uh, my personal favorite, the tier 10 British uh, Chunky Boy Tank Destroyer, the FV4005. So it's not the Badger, uh, which is, you know, the heavily armored, the DPM type of tank destroyer. It is the FV4005 that has the highest alpha damage now, out of any gun inside the game, just like the FVG 15B103, which was its uh, kind of predecessor. It replaced the FVG 15B183 in the tech tree, uh, where they split the tech trees into lightly armored big gun tank destroyers and heavily armored but more DPM smaller alpha damage guns. So, Gustavo is going to show you exactly why this vehicle is, is so much fun, right? With the uh, the lovely Hesh rounds, 1,750 is the alpha damage with 230 millimeters of pen. Sure, you can fire the AP rounds, which have 310 millimeters of penetration, but it's only 1,150 damage only. <laughs> only 1,150 damage. Um, so, yeah, if you if you've actually caught on my streams before, you know that I end every stream with an FE-425 battle, because I love the memes, it's just hilarious, just check this out, check this out, this is going to hit, yeah! Uh, One-shotting the EBR-105, it's just hilarious, I mean, unless you're the one who's actually getting hit by this, this gun and actually pens you, this vehicle is just hilarious. Um, so Gustavo is playing on Ghost Town, standard battle, South spawn in a platoon with another FE-45 that just did 1,660 damage to the Leopard 1. And unfortunately with a Manticore that died earlier um, to an FE-45 as well. So, yeah, and yes, this, you know, 1,134 damage into the TVP. So this is actually a very interesting platoon. One of my favorites to take out, by the way. Like, if you have two FVs and a Manticore, you have the sneakiness of the Manticore, and you have the, just the crazy damage of the FVs. Combine that together, and you have just a, a death trap that you can set on your enemies. Gustav's actually going with a pretty interesting loadout. Going with Gun Rammer, with improved aiming, and with experimental uh, mobility system. So it's like... Not something you see very often um, on the FE-4205. I personally actually like to drop the gun rammer um, and go with gun link drive, you know, to improve the, the very poor aim speed of this vehicle. As you can see, it takes quite a while, but luckily it does hit. You, what, what, Gustav actually fired AP over here. I didn't even see the switch, so that didn't one-shot the FE, unfortunately, did only, only 1,278 damage. Probably waited for the 113 Beijing Opera, try to get a pen over there. Um, but yeah, the T92 shot him down, and yes, three shots fired. You know, in this battle, two kills, 3,712 damage. It's it's just it's just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, this is this is just the start. Trying to go for a blind fight against the enemy FE-4205, unfortunately, doesn't go through. So yeah. The, what I was on earlier, right? I do like to take improved aiming, of course. This vehicle has awful 0.4, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 0.42 uh, base dispersion. L just a second. Ah, the 113 just disappeared, unfortunately. Um, the awful, awful base accuracy. So improved aiming <laughs> on the move. What was that? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Gustav is just having fun, I guess. Um... Yeah, so improved aiming, yes, gun link drive for the very poor aim time, and then a turbo, because it has awful reverse speed, it has 8 uh, kilometers an hour reverse speed, if I'm not mistaken, which is terrible, like the whole point of this vehicle is to shoot and then hide for the next 30 seconds or so, so if you can't actually go back, can't hide, then uh, you, you will die, you have no armor, but yes, okay, when you do this, who needs armor, right? If you just destroyed the enemy team, who needs the armor? So, the FV, huge, huge barn, which is uh, why it got the nickname the Shiz Barn, right? You need to, to switch to the Z with another letter, but yes. So, huge vehicle, actually has no armor. Like, that turret is one of the least armored things inside the game. Every HE round is going to go through. 
do need to watch out for that when playing the FV. But if you can hit, if you can hit the grill over here, check this out. Check this out. A miss. <laughs> I was hyping up the shot too much. <laughs> oh no, don't push your friend. Uh, but yeah, the, the poor accuracy, the bad aim time, right? Combine all of those together and... Yes, you will miss quite a few shells. Oh, this is delicious. This is delicious for no nick, no name in the FV as well. Uh, the platoon mate shutting down the 113 Beijing Opera with one shell because this is just what it does. So, this vehicle, like, it will cost you a lot of play. Those gold rounds cost like 8,000 credits, if I'm not mistaken, per round. Okay, so if you miss that 8,000, uh, damage, it, it's sorry, a thousand credit shell. You're going to lose a lot of credits uh, very quickly. A blind fire by no, <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Shutting down the leopard one from the back of the map. And there we go. The grill, can we get it this time? Can we get it this time? Yes, we can indeed. Unfortunately, the grill did shut. No nick, no name just before, but I mean, 1680 damage, and you do that constantly, like. It's not something strange that you do 1,688 damage. It's like 210 penetration is enough to go through quite a few vehicles at tier 10. Surprisingly enough, like, yes, I know, most people don't think that 210 pen is a lot. But even when you don't pen, you still do a few hundred. Like, the yesterday, I had someone hit me for 980 or so damage. And that wasn't a pen. It wasn't an AP round. So, even if you hit and do not pen, you also do quite a lot of damage. And if you do pen, <laughs> it is just, it is just delicious. And that is exactly why this has become probably my favorite vehicle in the game, I think, to play. The memes are just right themselves, you know? The moments happen every single time. And it's just lovely, so I definitely do recommend uh, going for the FV-425. The line itself is pretty nice as well. You know, you have the Charioteer, which is fast, it has a very good gun. Um, the Conway, which has a very big gun as well at year 9. And at the end, you get this lovely beast. So, yes, if you haven't gotten the uh, FV-425 yet, please do. Use gold, you will need to use gold rounds, um, you will lose a lot of credits, but you will gain a lot of fun. There we go, there we go, waiting for the grill. Uh, 1550 damage, and it's, you just know that it's going to, to end the grill, it's just so much fun. Oh no. Oh my goodness, it's just a vehicle that is fun to play. Th that's pretty much it. Sure, it's not fun to, to get penned, like I said at the start, by this vehicle. But just trolling around, memeing, and especially on your platoon with another FV, with a, with a light tank that you trust. It's just ridiculous amounts of fun, so please do. Please do try the FV. But yeah, let's let's get back to the game, right? Gustavo is up to 5 kills, 7,600 damage. But it's still not over. Oh my goodness, the FV. 2 on 5 trying to get the... Okay, okay, Gustavo, see how it is with a clutch into the cupola of its, its predecessor, the vehicle that replaced uh, the fe 25 b 183 that could have actually one-shot Gustavo here. Even though Gustavo's on 1,828 hit points, right? This could have been a one-shot. 1,750 can easily do 1,850. Actually had a roll of 2,000 once. Which is just ridiculous. It's crazy stuff, but that's that's what this vehicle does. That is what this vehicle does. A lot of damage in one shell. And then you run, pretty much. But now it is a 2v3. You dance 15-16. And two artillery versus Gustavo. And uh, and only Gustavo, apparently, because the units shut down. The 261, unfortunately. What's Gustavo going to do? Trying to blind fire maybe the component of Blind fire still spotted now trying to blind fire the Udes 1516. Not connecting, unfortunately. Maybe they did. Maybe they did connect. The Udes was on 1000 hit points. Gonna have to wait and see if that shell actually hit the Udes later. But now in this 1v3, 
what you need to do here is be aggressive. Like, you can't wait until everyone surrounds you, until they all go forwards to shoot you from all angles. You need to be aggressive. Go after them one by one by one by one. There we go. The unit is on 1024 hit points, so unfortunately the blind fight didn't hit, didn't do any damage. Whew, can Gustavo get the pen? Can get enough damage over here. The Udes goes with an HE round. Like I said, this vehicle has no armor whatsoever. But then we're going to the upper part of the Udes. When it's angle like this, it's an easy pen. The T92 does 563 damage as well, which is not good. That means that if the T92 or the Bachelor actually pen, they can one shot, I believe, um, Gustavo over here. I think the Bachelor has like 600, maybe 650 alpha, if I'm not mistaken. And the T92 can obviously one shot Gustavo if they pen. If they pen. So it's kind of like what the old artillery were, right? The FE-4205, chunky boy damage, but uh, not an, a lot of pen against the new artillery with stun. Who's going to win? Who is going to win? There's the T-92. The T-92 falls back. Okay. Good shot by Gustavo. The shutting down uh, the T-92. Nice. And writing in the chat 10.7k. Because, yes, once you reach that 10k mark, you know, you had an amazing game. Uh, but I was surprised the T92 didn't try to fire over here. I just need to hit this, look at this, this huge barn of a turret. And it will go through most likely. But the T92 fell back. Gustavo got the kill. And now it is Gustavo versus the Bat Chat 15558, who's trying to cap. Uh, this is going to be dangerous. This is going to be dangerous. Can Gustavo reach the base in time? That is the question, right? This vehicle is definitely not the fastest. Luckily, Gustavo is using the experimental mobility equipment, which will make them a little faster. It is not tier 3, though, so it's only slightly faster. But you're going to have to wait and see. Just going forwards, using the shortest route to the base. 45 seconds. 44 seconds. There is still time, but you know, this vehicle is not fast. Oh my goodness, why am I getting stressed? Why am I getting stressed? Oh no. I guess it's going to be one shot, right? Usually you have like 20. With a gun run, we can actually get it down to like 24, maybe. 23 second reload. Uh, but yeah, no time for another shell. There's going to be one shell to determine the outcome of this battle. There's the Badger. The Badger got spotted. 15 seconds. Wait, wait, you have only one chance. One chance. The Badger actually stuns, repairs the stun, fires the Badger, and gets the kill. Easy peasy. 11k damage and 9 kills. GG. Well played. Good job by the grill. And uh, I mean, every 45 people, go and get it now. It's amazing. Gustavo with an amazing game. 11 thousand damage that we've seen there were a few very uh, interesting blind fires earlier in this battle uh, but yeah nine kills 11 thousand damage securing the win winning that 1v3 right delicious stuff over here but let's go and check the post game stats to see exactly how delicious it was there we go easy ace tanker over here for the 1412 base experience getting up a scoochies medal for destroying the two artillery, the T92 and Batch at 15558, the Randy Walters for getting a nine kills over here. A defender for the 90 defense points against the Batch at 15558 at the, uh, the, the last few seconds, right? The last shot of the game, high caliber, of course, for 11,000 damage. And a top gun. 14 shots fired, 10 hit, 10 penned. It's, it's like. It's the dream of an FV player, right? To be able to both fire so many rounds and to just have a 100% pen rate. Absolutely delicious. Unfortunately, none of the, the interesting blind shots uh, actually hit. So, you know, it's only, only 1, 000, 11, sorry, 1,000 damage over here. 4,370 of those were from a distance of more than 300 meters, which is kind of a, kind of surprising um, because this vehicle is not accurate like I said 0 0.4 0 0.42 maybe a uh, dispersion base so yeah you don't really expect to hit so many shells from afar like Gustavo did over here got hit three times one of those penetrated I believe the others were artillery hits so those do not penetrate as often but uh, yeah the RT didn't pen and still did do close to 600 damage just shows you how how much the armor is effective, right? Two vehicles spotted. 
which is very surprising as well. 10 vehicles damaged, none of those destroyed, um, with only the FV that, you know, they fired AP at them. That is the only vehicle they did not destroy. So if they actually fired Hesh at the FV, it would have been 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of... It's just 10s all around over here. Uh, with an extra 1,120 damage course with the player's assistance. Travel 2.44 kilometers. You usually don't travel quite a lot with, um, with the FV-4205. It is a vehicle kind of set at the back, shoot, fall back, shoot, fall back. You don't really want to show yourself to the enemy team because you don't have any armor whatsoever anywhere. No, 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 no. You need to hide with the FV and just hit them for chunky shots from afar. But it actually did make uh, some credits here, even though they fired so many gold rounds, right? And like I said, it's like 8,000 credits per gold round. Um, they did make a 10,000 credit profit over here with a premium account. So GG, well played, over 6,000 experience in total. So Gustavo, amazing game with the FE4805. One of my favorites, if not my actual favorite at, uh, at tier 10. I'm actually going to go to tank this most likely, unless there's uh, some uh, sudden changes and plans, just because of the FE is going to be going on a ride, right, for the first time ever, if I'm not mistaken, in Tankfest. So, yeah, gonna go to Tankfest at the end of June, four months from now. If anyone is uh, interested to come and uh, chat in Tankfest, I will most likely be uh, there. Now, uh, this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. You're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. ta -tas. have a good one, people!